So we've almost finished this app, but there's one little potential problem with its usability. And I'm going to demo that by first of all, adding a load of different messages, which I've already done. So you can see all these I've added down here. And now if we go back to the welcome screen and then try to come in again, then what's going to happen is we're going to get dumped here at the top of the messages and not at the bottom where the latest ones are. Now we have to scroll right to the bottom to see the latest messages. Now, it would be nice if A, this window, this chat window right here had a fixed maximum height, which you could scroll up and down in, and B, when you land on the page, it automatically scrolls you down to the latest messages at the bottom of the chat window and doesn't just place you at the top. Now, we can do this pretty simply. First of all, let's give this chat window a max height and an overflow property. Inside the chat component, we'll go down to the styles down here, and I'm going to say dot messages, since this is the class of the UL up here of our chat window. See there? All right. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to give that a maximum height, first of all, of around 300 pixels. And then I'll set the overflow to auto, meaning that when it goes over this 300 pixels in height, you're going to see a scroll bar up here so you can scroll down it. Now, I'm also going to add some WebKit scroll bar pseudo classes to this. Now I'll just paste these in, um, but it's messages double dot hyphen WebKit hyphen scroll bar. And this allows us to style the different elements on the scroll bar for WebKit browsers such as Chrome. So it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so now that's done, let's save it and view this in a browser. And if we refresh or rather it should automatically update, we can now see that scroll bar here. So we've set a fixed height on this window. But still, if we land on this page initially, then we're still going to get dumped at the top when these load in and not at the bottom. We want it to land at the bottom like so. Now, we could write our own custom JavaScript to do this, and it might take us five or ten minutes to do that. But this is not what the course is about. Instead, what we're going to do is use a view plugin called view chat scroll. So first of all, let's install that. We'll open up our terminal. And we'll say npm install view hyphen chat hyphen scroll. And then if you want, pass through the save flag to save it to your dependencies. Okay, so now that's installed, we have to register that plugin in our view application. So to do that, go to main.js. And first of all, we'll need to import this package into this file. So we'll say import view chat scroll from view hyphen chat hyphen scroll. Okay, so now we can use this in our view application. Now, the way we register a plugin in view is pretty simple. We just say view dot use and then the plugin that we want to use. So view chat scroll, which is this thing we just imported right here. So now we're registering this plugin inside view. We can use a new directive called v hyphen chat scroll. So we can use that inside, let's just save this file first, inside our template up here. On our messages, where we set the overflow property here, we can use a new directive called v hyphen chat hyphen scroll. So let's place it there, v hyphen chat hyphen scroll. So if we save this now, and if we just refresh this for good measure, enter in a name, Luigi, enter chat, and then when these load up, hopefully, yep, it's going to load us to the bottom of the chat window now instead of at the top. So that's cool. We've addressed this problem now. I think the last thing we need to do is deploy this application to Firebase.